Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. It's 513 here on this Monday morning and we do have mostly clear skies for some of us this morning, but we do have some lower clouds working their way into our northern and eastern counties. Currently in Emporia, we do have those mostly clear skies overhead. Central Topeka starting to see a little bit more of those clouds. So we're sitting at 27 degrees, feeling like 18 though with our winds out of the north and west at nine miles per hour. Wind chills for the most part are in the teens, but we're as cold as nine in Concordia currently. Air temperatures are in the teens and 20s though, so we have dipped down to 19 at Clay Center, 20 degrees at Manhattan. We're at 24 in Emporia, 25 at Hiawatha and Marysville, and 27 degrees in Lawrence this morning. Through this afternoon, we'll likely warm up into the upper 30s, maybe close to 40 degrees if we're lucky, but it will be a struggle today to warm up with that northerly, northwesterly breeze still in place. Tonight, we'll drop back to near 20, and then for tomorrow, our south wind returns, and that's going to really help warm things up, but it will be fairly breezy to get us there, and then it will become really windy by the time we get to Wednesday, and that's going to be the case through the rest of the week, too. Wind speeds currently are about 10 to 15 miles per hour, mostly out of the north and northwest. Through the rest of the day, this is a look at our future wind gusts starting at 6 a.m. We will have winds backing off a little bit, so by this afternoon, probably looking at winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour, switching around to the south by the time we get to tomorrow morning, and then winds start to increase through the day. So by Tuesday afternoon, wind gusts will be about 20 to 30 miles per hour. That's going to be the case through the night, and then Wednesday, we get even windier with wind gusts as high as maybe 40 to 45 miles per hour throughout Wednesday afternoon. We do have a cold front on the way too, so once that arrives on Thursday, winds are going to shift around and it's still going to be windy on the back side of that. Satellite and radar showing our lower clouds streaming in from the north and east this morning. A few flurries out towards western Kansas, but those are not going to make it here. Uh, we are watching this upper level low towards the Great Lakes. That's what's providing our lower clouds here today. As that moves off to the east, it will take the clouds with it and eventually we'll see some sunshine. We do have that upper level ridge coming in right behind it. That's what's going to bring us the dry conditions at least through about Wednesday. And then right behind that, we have our next storm system that we're watching and that's going to be coming in off the west coast. So future track starts at 7 a.m. We do have some clouds around this morning tapering off and clearing out by this afternoon. More sunshine on the way for Tuesday as that high pressure takes hold and then we'll continue to see those sunny skies to start with Wednesday but then more clouds working their way in through the afternoon and evening as our next system starts to approach. So that will give us a pretty good rain chance by the time we get to Thursday. Could see some showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms possibly uh, by Thursday afternoon and then that cold front arrives dropping our temperatures well down into the 20s. We will also have uh, maybe a slight chance that some of that rain could change over to snow through the very late hours of Thursday into early Friday morning. But the big story here, I think, is definitely going to be the cold air, especially as those winds continue. Wind chills are going to be an issue early Friday. Same goes for early Saturday, probably feeling like we're in the single digits as temperatures really struggle to make it up out of the 30s, close to 40 by the time we get to Sunday.